I thought today was a good second scrimmage. Um, you know, probably about the same overall number count, you know, roughly, you know, probably 115, 20 plays. Um, we were able to run um, more sequence like a game where there was, you know, sudden changes. There was uh, flipping the field. You know, all the different situations were, you know, reactive rather than, um, you know, uh, sequenced uh, or, uh, you know, situational where we put them in, in the, the – uh, in the different places, so it was good to see guys have to operate, respond. Um, you know, I thought the offense, you know, was was good today. I thought they, you know, for a second scrimmage and the response from you know the, some of these you know, last few days, we've seen uh, you know, kind of the defense you know, taking a step, you know, taking a step ahead, and I thought the offense had a good response. You know, the, there were some really good moments defensively. Uh, you know, a couple, you know, big stops. Uh, you know, a couple of uh, you know created. Uh, I think we had a couple created takeaways. Um, that was uh, impressive to see, but you know, I thought just overall, I thought the offense did a nice job and and how they executed. I thought the quarterback play um, was really good. And I thought that um, you know DJ had a couple you know, really long extended drives. You had also had some explosive plays put in there. Uh, you know Brock, you can see just the comfort in his operation, knowing what to do. Um, you had some had some good plays, good moments. You know, obviously anytime in the spring, uh, you in, in scrimmages, you know, and quarterbacks are you know we, we keep them in. In kind of tag mode, um, so there's some some times where you know maybe they'd get out, maybe they wouldn't, but you know it's still you know, opportunities to to have to to have to you know react to whatever the the situation calls for. And um, you know I thought our defensive front is continuing to show uh, the explosiveness, uh, you know their attack, you know especially when we get in, get uh, in long yard situations, you see when those guys really you know, you know you know pin the ears back. I mean there's some. There's some some real explosiveness out of that group, and so um, you know, I'm excited about you know the the steps we're seeing. Um, you know, like I said, there was there's some big plays. I thought um, you know Malik Benson showed up well. You know, Hakeem had some had a couple of really nice plays. Um, you know, you know, really, I, I thought the receivers you know did a did a good job. You know, there's been you know, had been some missed opportunities. Um, you know, throughout the the week, and I thought they they really rose up. I mean, I thought our running backs did a did a solid job. Uh, some of the defensive backs, you know, saw you know making plays on the ball. Uh, which is always encouraging, and uh, you know, like like I mentioned, that the defensive front was uh, was pretty good. So all in all, good first scrimmage. Uh, you know, uh, had some bumps and bruises. Nothing. I don't think anything you know, too severe you know, throughout the scrimmage. But uh, you know, we'll see where that is as we uh, as we go into this week. Mike, you mentioned DJU and the quarterbacks in general. How has DJ done in the sense of just integrating himself into the offense and showing the experience he has in the college game mixed with what you guys are asking him to do? Yeah, um, I thought today was his best day. Um, you know, and he's had some good days in, in his spring practice, but today, I mean, he operated at a very, very high level. And you saw the, the confidence of the ball getting out, where it's going, you know, even on a couple throwaways, just his, his – you could tell he was in control of what he was being asked to do today, and uh, you know we've been pretty aggressive with our with our you know, installation. So it's you know, we're trying to throw a lot on him. Um, you know I liked how he how he responded. I thought he, how he reacted. Um, you know it's uh, uh, it's exciting to see that progression. And you know like I mentioned you know Brock earlier. You know I think it's you know you see those guys that are that are you know the more reps, the more time, the more opportunities and experiences. You know they're really growing from that. Uh, you know, Luke did some good things today. Um, you know, I really like what I see from him, especially on third down. So he is, you know, you, you find a freshman in a third down situation. You know, that's usually one of the hardest things for them to, you know, get thrown into with the, just the, the different presentations and pressures. And I mean, he um, he does a great job of just standing in, trusting his eyes. You know, you know obviously he had some some teachable and, and uh, your moments. Uh, you know, probably wasn't as as clean as it was a week ago for him. But you know, with the with the added uh, install, I mean, there's still some things for him to grow. But I mean, he is a He's, he's fun to coach, and uh, you're definitely you're progressing extremely fast for a freshman. So uh, uh, it, was, it was a good day for that group. In some of the practices we've seen, um, the defensive lines made it hard for the offense to operate at times. Are you seeing the offensive line start to respond? Did they give them more time today? Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a good mix. I mean, it was, you know, I, I mentioned the, the uh, explosiveness of the defense. That still shows up. Um, you know, I thought the O-line, especially in the, in the run game, was able to create a couple a couple seams, a couple opportunities, had some had some explosive runs. Um, and then, you know, obviously gave the quarterbacks time to, to, to be able to distribute the ball. Um, you know, we had some, some good drives we were able to put together. And, um, you know, I, I think that's a, that's a good group uh, you up front, you know, 
obviously when it's good on good, I mean, it's, it's going to be a challenge every day. But, you know, still some things that we get to clean up on and uh, continuing to, uh, to, to, to build these guys for what that, you know, what that first, you know, five, six, seven, eight is going to look like. And, um, you know, we do have great, great competition in that, uh, in that unit. Mike, I'm curious to get your thoughts on what you've seen from Lawrence to Philly with uh, some of the added weight. How he's doing with the physical component this spring? Yeah, no, he had a, he had, you know, we he, he's probably been as limited. You know, I, we limited a couple guys, and we we limited him in the scrimmage today. Uh, but he made his he, he made his presence felt early, and uh, you know, had a couple good runs, a couple good plays. Uh, you know, he catches the ball, you know, so well. So I mean, it's he's a. I think he is, is the last game of last season. You know, he's MVP of the championship game, and you know he is and much better than what he was at this time or at any point there last season. I mean, I am excited about uh, the player, the leader. Um, you know, I think Roy Dell got a lot of work today. You know, I wanted to see him have to operate, and um, you know, definitely encouraged from what we see there. You know, Cam Davis hit some big, you know, a couple big runs. Uh, I think Sam Singleton is, is, you know, had a good spring. You know, some good and bad today. Um, you know, things that he can improve upon. But um, you know, I, I like I like those guys. You know, because I uh, thought they you know, made some improvements from you know some things that he was uh, that was struggled with a week ago. So um, you know, it's it's all. Uh, uh, it's all about getting better, and but you know, LT has definitely improved. You know, and I'm excited about what he's going to be for this team. And you know, Jalen Jay, Jay Lucas was was himself today. Had a couple of explosive plays. I mean, he's a he's a fun one to watch. When you talk about uh, DJ being more comfortable, maybe in more control, is that is this the time when a lot of those transfers maybe now are are going to see that kind of comfort level? Uh, kick in, do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think it's part of it. You know, you when you're, you, know, you you go through a spring, you you have meetings, you have you know, or the winter program, you have meetings, uh, but you're not really you're getting into to do a ton. I mean, you get a sh short walk through, um, but you're not getting to do a ton of of with speed, and so it's all mental. And then you get out there and you know you try to adjust to the things you know, the language that you've learned, um, you know the the techniques and the fundamentals that are being asked. But now it's just getting caught up with the speed of the repetitions. Um, and like I said, we've been aggressive with it. When, but really on both sides of the ball. But I think like Marvin Jones, you saw you know, him, Nusi, Arcioni, um, you know he's. Uh, um, you know, Tommy had a couple of really good plays. Uh, you know, I thought you know he showed up. But you you see those guys that have that have come in uh, where they're they're playing faster this week. And uh, you know, I thought Marvin, you know, he he was you know, he had a sack today that was just you know pretty elite in in just his movements. Um, but you know, when you have you know, that type of competition at positions, and you know, these guys are becoming more comfortable, and there is that sense of urgency for improvement. It, it's definitely fun to see, and you know, I think DJ is a, a great example of that, as well as uh, you know all those guys. You know, Malik Benson had his best day today. You know, I think he scored a couple touchdowns. Um, you know, it was just definitely good to see. Coach Thompson earlier this week. I think he said the tight ends caught, I think, 16 passes in the first scrimmage. I guess how did those that group perform today? And I guess what have been your impressions of that group through half the spring? You know, they showed up really well again today. And um, you know, I don't know if the overall, you know, I think it was probably a little bit more to receivers today and just what happened. But they they did uh, capitalize. I can't think of you know any missed opportunities, uh, and they made some tough catches. So it was uh, you know, Brian Courtney had a couple. You know, Landon Thomas just continues to show that you know he's. He's he's on the fast track. Uh, you know, Jackson West had a couple, had a really big play, explosive pass, and Kyle has been, um, you know, I think, you know, he had a, a few days early that was, you know, solid. I think he's really taken taken a step, um, you know, just in who he is. I thought he had a great week of practice this week, and um, you know, I thought that group is they're they're really they're about the right things. I think they got ability and talent, and so it's it's exciting to see them go out there and uh, and you know, have success when they're when they're when they're in there. Oh, awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, you. Let me ask a three for one, actually, since I know I'm the last one. At the buzzer. Um, you mentioned the receivers, some of the receivers kind of stepping up. Were they challenged? Uh, obviously, the last couple days hadn't been their best days. Were they challenged, or did they even need that? Um, I'm sure they realized that they could play better. Yeah, I mean, every day is a challenge. And, you know, I, I, like I tell guys, you know, what you see is where you are. And you know, if you have missed opportunities, if it's up and down, if it's inconsistent, then that's that's what the group is. And so you got to go out there and you got to, you know, you got to seize the moment, seize the opportunity. And you know, you know obviously we've had a couple guys that have went down. Um, that you know, there are open doors and open opportunities. And but what are you going to do with it? And 
you know, there's as good a competition to that room because I really like the room. I mean, I like the ability. I like the talent, you know. Um, you know, and it was, it was definitely good to see guys, you know, take advantage of, of those, you know, when the ball was coming, coming their way. Um, you know, Wayne McCoy had a, had a big play you know, as well in it. So um, Camden Fryer, you know, had a big, had a big explosive play. So it was, it was, it was definitely good to see, um, you know, the response. And, yeah, but there's, it's, you're going to get challenged whether you're doing well or, or not. I mean, you're going to get challenged here. And it's just uh, believing what the group is capable of, and they just got to keep getting better. Thank you.